Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. Today we're going to tie a simple but extremely effective pattern for summertime fishing, a foam beetle. We have a two extra long dry fly hook in the vise. Start our thread at the front, wrap to the back just about even with the barb. Take a strip of black closed cell foam, wrap back to the front of the hook. It's important to lay a thread base for the durability of this fly. Tie in the foam and tie backwards to the back of the hook with loose wraps initially and then go back over the body to compress the foam. Next we're going to take some ice dubbing, peacock ice dubbing for the underbody. It's a very durable way to get the iridescent underbody on this fly. Wrap that over the foam underbody just shy of the eye, pull the foam over, tie down, we leave a head on this fly, trim it down to your liking, just leave a little bit hanging out to give the the shape of the head of the beetle. Next I'm going to take a small square of orange foam, rectangle of orange foam to tie on top for the cider for the fly. An all black fly is hard to see on the water so the little orange cider makes it much easier to see. Trim that to your desired length. And now we'll take some black crystal flash for the legs. I'm going to tie a clump of three or four fibers on either side of the fly. Once you're done with the first side, grab another clump, tie them in on the near side. Now I'm ready to whip finish the fly. I'm going to whip finish it right in that tie-in point for the legs and the foam. I'm not going to lift up and tie it underneath the eye. The thread sinks down into the foam, gives you a nice tight whip finish. Trim off your thread. Trim your legs to the desired length. And there we have a finished foam beetle. One of our most productive patterns for the summertime. 